The CEO of Hewlett Packard Enterprise joining us right now, Antonio Neri, uh, right on the heels of his earnings report here, where we saw fiscal third quarter revenue coming in line with estimates here. And of course, a focus on three of your units here, two units which saw relative softness and one unit in particular, that intelligent edge business, that showed a 50% jump in revenue. And that has become what a lot of investors, Antonio, have started to focus on. Well, good afternoon, Romain. Thanks for having me again. Uh, we are very pleased with the results of our third quarter, which was, again, very solid. We saw continued uh, revenue growth and margin expansion once again. And that's driven by the intentional uh, shift in our strategy to focus on high growth, high gross margin areas. And you talked about that intelligent edge, which had a stellar performance with 53% year-over-year revenue growth and an operating margin improvement of more than 1,300 basis points. And when you think about the composition of the company today, uh, the intelligent edge now represents 20% of the total company revenue. Two mm -hmm. years ago was 10%, and now almost 50% of the company profit. So overall, an astonishing set of results. And that allows us to continue to invest in the business as we think about the next wave of growth, which obviously is going to be AI and hybrid cloud. I am curious as to how that works out down the road, Antonio. When you were elevated to CEO about five years or so ago, you made a very clear point to investors that you wanted to diversify the company. At least on paper, it appears that you have already done that. But now the question becomes, has the pendulum swung too far? Are you going to be too dependent on that intelligent uh, business, intelligent cloud business, relative to some of the other business units. Well, thank you for referring to that because when I became CEO, I said that the enterprise of the future will be edge-centric, cloud-enabled, and data-driven. The edge was the next frontier, and we invested quite significant in that business, and we have more than doubled that business in five years, and that's the result of all the hard work. In 2019, I said we're going to deliver everything we do in the company as a service, and you see HP Green Lake. HP Green Lake now represents a significant part of our deferred revenue, which is all rateable and including the profit. And in this quarter, we crossed the $12 billion uh, total cumulative uh, contract value, and we grew that $1.5 billion quarter over quarter. And that resulted in a 48% AR increase. And so those are two examples that are great testament of when we focus and we execute, we deliver value for shareholder. Now, the third part of this is AI. But I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased about the edge because now we create a new baseline. That baseline is being fueled also with new capabilities, expansion of TAM into the areas of security, software defined wider network, and core 5G and private 5G, who has yet to play into our numbers. So mm -hmm. as we think about 24 and beyond, you will see the growth from those areas fueling the go momentum we have in the edge. I want to talk a little bit more, though, about the compute and the storage units, because if you yep. look at sales in the compute unit, uh, that includes data centers and servers, of course, it declined 13 percent. That's slightly worse than what analysts had been estimating. What does that say about the appetite for corporate spend in this environment? When do you expect that cycle to maybe stabilize a bit? Sure, Katie. I mean, we have that six magnificent quarter, I call it, in our revenue growth and significant operating margins, way above the industry average. And now we're seeing the normalization of what I call the ongoing compute cyclicality that happens every few years. And so customers obviously pull in a lot of the orders last year because of the supply chain challenges. Those are have now returned to normalized levels. And so now we see that digestion. But as I think about 24, uh, we see a couple of three things coming in our favor. Number one is that we have a generational shift to new products. Uh, that's what we call Gen 11. Number two, we're going to see in 24 increase in commodity costs. That's a natural evolution of the industry as demand improves. And number three, you're going to see more content towards AI, particularly what I call AI inference solutions, which is going to drive an increase in the percentage of the mix. Mm. And so over time, we're going to see that. But uh, let me be clear, this quarter, we saw demand improving on the unit level on a quarter over quarter basis. And when you add the HPC and AI uh, compute as well, Mm -hmm. On an aggregate, the server category actually grew on the unit very nicely, which drove a double-digit growth in our attach related to operational services, which obviously is the most profitable part of the business. 
And Antonio, we only have about 45 seconds left with you, but I do want to talk about the C-suite a little bit. Of course, earlier this month you announced that your CFO would depart. Where are you on the search for a replacement? Do you have any sense of timing there? Sure. I mean, uh, my goal is in the next 60, no more than 90 days to have a new CFO. Uh, I have to say I'm very proud that Tarek had the opportunity to become a CEO of a public company. Tarek and I have done some unique things to position the company into the future. I'm very proud that the work has done. Uh, but for me, you know, it's important that we focus on the next profile, which is continue to execute the strategy and continue to drive the financial architectures that you just saw in our numbers. So uh, we will take our time. We want to find, obviously, a great uh, CFO. Uh, but obviously, there is a process which look mm -hmm. both internally and externally. We have a fantastic finance team in this company. Well, Antonio, it's great to get some time with you today. Really appreciate it. That is Antonio Neri, of course, the Hewlett Packard Enterprise CEO.